Hi, I'm Monica Wright. I'm one of the people who founded a Black Communities Action Committee on Facebook. Our Facebook group arose out of just people around the country being concerned about the police shootings and the brutality, and we wanted to prove that we could come together as a group. Uh, we started out with, uh, in order to join the organization, you had to send a dollar to a black cause. And uh, at the time, everybody in the group had to send a dollar to Queen Mother Falaka Fata in Philadelphia. And I'd say out of about 400 members, about 30 people sent one dollar. And we were really able to get in touch with what it takes to build a community. You know, are you even willing to get a stamp, get an envelope, take a picture of a dollar, stick it in an envelope and send it to a black cause? And some people had to look at that it it was a struggle for them just to do that. From there, uh, we were able to create a susu. A susu that basically fit um, the needs of African Americans. We studied the different models around the world of susus. Um, in Jamaica, it's called a pardna. Um, it, it has a lot of different names around the world. Um, we retrofitted it to our culture. And we've been going two years now. It's the Black Communities Action Committee SUSU. We have about 29 members. The way that Black Communities Action Committee SUSU works is that we originally started with 11 members and we each contributed $22. Uh, I think at that point in time, we had a 60 day cycle. So in 60 days, everybody was required to uh, deposit $22. And we did that using a funding platform, which is many on the internet like Fundraiser or GoFundMe. Um, Indiegogo, I believe we started with Indiegogo. And uh, everybody uploaded their money to the funding website. And uh, at the end of the funding cycle, the money was distributed to the first person, the first participant that was chosen to get a payout. So, uh, so far we've lasted two years. We've lent out over $10,000 to our members. Uh, we have reduced the uh, duration of a cycle to 40 days. So every 40 days, every member submits either $23 or $50 uh, in order to qualify for a payout. Now, if you submit $23 every 40 days, your payout will be $500. If you submit $50, every 40 days, your payout will be $1,000. And we're, everything about the SUSU is dependent upon everybody's participation. We're up to, we are up to cycle 18, which closes today. Uh, we're about to start cycle 19, which will open tomorrow. We've lent out approximately about 22 loans because now uh, each cycle um, averages about 1,200 per cycle. You can see that on our Facebook page. You can actually look at the history of all our cycles um, on Black Communities. Just uh, you know, type in Black Communities Action Committee, SUSA, and you'll see each of the cycles. You can see who donated, how much they donated, and how much we paid out. So at this point, we fund about three of our members per cycle, okay? And on average, if you joined us, uh, you'd make about five payments in, in about five cycles before you would get a payout. So the great thing about having a SUSU and controlling a, a small portion of our collective economy is that this SUSU helped so many of our members grow uh, and grow businesses. Uh, one of our um, members was able to start a, a bath and body business. The uh, payments that I received, the payout that I received, uh, helped me with my community work. Um, 
and it also can be a tool. I mean, this is what we see for the future. A uh, susu, where everybody is contributing, can be a tool for investment, but it's a couple things that people have to understand. Everybody who contributes would have to make a conscious decision to take their contribution and not use it for their personal reasons, but use it for a combined investment idea. So a susu can be used that way, but a susu is very orientated in that whoever receives their payment has to make a personal choice. The susu manager can't say everybody's contribution is going to do X or going to do Y because it is a true savings and loan for each of the members. But how could it be used as an investment vehicle? Let's say that there was a piece of property that needed to be bought. And if we had enough members, let's say that piece of property was $20,000 and we had enough people contributing the $20,000, then if there were 40 people getting $500 payouts, they would all have to make a decision to use those payouts or some portion of the payout to pay for the property. Okay? So each would be individual each would be individually liable to pay back their portion of the loan and the loan could be used to do something to make money for the group of people. But that is how it has to, to operate. People each have to make a personal choice. We don't take money from our members to do with it what one individual wants to do without the agreement of everybody else. Um, so it, it takes a lot of organizing. It takes a lot of working together. Uh, like I've said, great things have grown out of people's participation in the SUSU. And at, at the end of this video, you'll see some of the links to some of the things that our members are doing. Uh, you know, I want to thank you for your time and uh, hearing what Black Communities Action Committee SUSU is about. So how can being a part of a SUSU uh, be beneficial to an individual? Basically, a SUSU is a savings and loan. Uh, each of the members makes contributions, which creates the savings. Each of the members is the banker for the each of the other members because as we pay out loans, the bank is held by each of those members who owes the balance back to the SUSU. Um, a SUSU is not a money maker, okay? What a SUSU is, is a simple savings and loan. When you start, you make payments in, then you get a payout and then you pay back the balance. So let's say you've paid in $100 into the SUSU, which has been lent out to members who were part of the SUSU before you. Then your turn comes up for a payout and you get $500. You've already paid in 100, so the only thing that you owe back to the SUSU is 400 more dollars, which you would pay back in increments during each cycle. And that money funds the next people's loans. When you finish paying back your 500, you can leave or you can sign up for another round of, of cycles and payments. So basically, a SUSU doesn't cost you anything. Um, you're saving your money, you borrow from the community, you pay that money back. And you're, you can, it's the opportunity to pay off debt that you have, uh, buy, invest in a business, um, make a deposit on property. So a SUSU opens up a way that you can get funding without interest. Um, we have not yet instituted um, an, an interest, but a lot of times our members will pay back an extra $5, an extra $10 at the end of uh, paying off their loan. But your continued participation is what makes the SUSU grow.